For this tutorial, we are going to need scissors, a stitch marker, a four millimeter hook and um, a tape measure, as well as 100 grams or two balls of Yarn and Colors Epic Cotton Iron Yarn. So this ball here is 50 grams. I used two of them, so 100 grams for the whole hat. And I used the color Sate um, for this hat. Um, and so to begin our hat, we are just going to create a slip knot. And if you're unsure on how to do a slip knot or chains or half double crochets or anything like that, please check out my Crochet 101 video where I go over it all. Um, in great detail. So if you want to check that out before you start off this hat, that would be great. Just so you know all the basic skills. So, right, so we have our slip knot, we have our loop, everything is nice and ready to go. And so what we're gonna start off with is four chains. So to chain, face your hook downwards, loop it up to the right and bring it through the loop like that. So we're gonna create four chains like so. Like so. Okay, perfect. So we are going to stick our hook into the very first chain that we did. So stick it right through the first chain like that and make sure you get those two strands of yarn onto your hook. So you'll see them. They kind of create a V, a V shape on top. You see it there. So make sure that is on your hook and you're just going to pull up a loop. So wrap your hook around the yarn and pull up a loop like so, so there's two loops on your hook. And now we're gonna create a slip stitch by bringing that first loop through the second loop, and that is your slip stitch there. So now if we pull this kind of like cluster of yarn that we've created, if we pull that apart, you can see that there's like a hole in the middle. And that is the space that we are going to be putting our half double crochets into. So the one on the bottom, um, that space there, so. What we're going to do now is we are going to yarn over to um, get ready for our first half double crochet. So we're going to yarn over, pull that circle apart, and we're going to insert our hook right through the middle of that circle there. So we are going to pull up a loop. So bring it right through the center of the circle. So we have three loops on our hook. And now we are going to yarn over again and we're gonna bring through, go through all of those three loops right there in a half double crochet. Okay, so that is your first half double crochet. So now we're gonna move on to our second. So yarn over, place your hook into the middle of the circle. You're gonna pull up a loop, three loops on your hook. We're gonna yarn over and we're gonna pull through all three loops. Okay, and that's your second one. So you're gonna yarn over again, insert your hook into the middle of the circle. We're gonna pull up a loop. So there are three loops on your hook. We're gonna yarn over and we're gonna pull through all three. And so we are going to keep doing this until we have a total of eight half double crochets. And once those eight half double crochets are done, um, I'll meet you back, I'll come back and I will tell you what to do next to start off the next row. Okay, so now that our um, half double crochets are all done, we are just going to pull on that strand at the back. So there's a piece of yarn like hanging out at the back. So just pull on that and that's going to like tighten the circle. Um, and then we can just snip that off once it's all tight um, because that's not going to come apart because we have um, crocheted over, over it. Um, and so now to attach the front and the back of the round together, we are just going to half double crochet into our very first stitch that we created. So we're not doing anything fancy, we're literally just gonna half double crochet straight into that first um, half double crochet that we did at the very beginning. Okay, 
So that is basically the first um, stitch of our new round. So I'm going to put a stitch marker in there just, you know, to let me know that is the very beginning of our next round. So we've already created one stitch for round two. So for row two, we're going to do two half double crochets into every single stitch. Okay, so here's me doing my second half double crochet into the very same stitch like so. So I have two half double crochets into that very same stitch and now we're going to move on to the next stitch where we will place two half double crochets again. So there's our first half double crochet. So there's number one. Yarn over, pull through all three. Okay, so here's number one. Yarn over into the very same space. And we're going to do our second half double crochet. Okay, and then we're going to move on to the next space. So right there. Yarn over and we're going to put two half double crochets into this space. So there's our first one. And there's our second one. So you're going to go all the way around until you hit the stitch marker again. And here's me just finishing off the row with two half double crochets into that very last space. And so to begin a new row, we're going to take out our stitch marker. So just take it out and we're going to place one half double crochet into the space where that was. And this is going to be the very first stitch of our new row. So we're only going to put one half double crochet in here. And we're always only going to put one half double crochet into the first um, stitch of every row. Except the one that we just did. <laughs> so from here on out, it's only you're putting one half double crochet into the beginning of every single row. So that's in. And we're just going to put our hook in and bring it down. So our first stitch of the row is done. And our new row is ready to go. So for row three, we're going to do one half double crochet and then we're going to do one increase. Then we're going to do one half double crochet and then we're going to do one increase. So since we started off this row with one half double crochet, our second stitch is going to be an increase. So here's me just putting two half double crochets into the, into the second space of this row. So there's our increase and then our next one is just going to be one half double crochet. And then the next space is going to be an increase, which is two half double crochets into the same space. So there's our first and then here's our second. And so we are going to go all the way around. So we're just putting our one normal half double crochet into this next space. And then we're going to do an increase in the next space. And so again, we're going to do this all the way around until we reach the stitch marker again. And then um, I'll show you what to do. So here's me just finishing off. And in terms of like, you know what stitch you have to finish on it doesn't really matter like I found it doesn't matter at all um like I never found an issue I was kind of always ending on different things but like it was still circular so it it is what it is so here's me just starting off the next row by placing taking away the stitch marker doing one half double crochet and then re putting in the stitch marker there you go so exactly the same as like what we did last time so our first half double crochet of the row is done already. So now for row four, we are going to do two half double crochets and then an increase. So since we have our first half double crochet of the round done, we only have one more to do. So there's two normal half double crochets there. And now we are going to do an increase. So again, one normal half double crochet and then another half double crochet in the very same uh, space.
And so you're going to go all the way around the circle doing two half double crochets and then one increase, two half double crochets, one increase until you get back to the stitch marker. And here's me just finishing off that row. Again, it doesn't matter which stitch you end up on. Um, so yeah, there's row four completed. Now we are going to move on to round five. So we're taking out the stitch marker, doing one half double crochet and reinserting our um, stitch marker, pulling it tight and ready to go. So we already have one completed. And so now we are going to do three half double crochets and then one increase. So we've already done one, here's number two, here's number three, and here is our increase. So we're going to put one half double crochet and two half double crochets into the very same space. And that's kind of your pattern for row five. So you're going to do three half double crochets, one increase, three half double crochets, one increase until you get to the very end when you reach your stitch marker. And here's me just finishing off. And so again, to start off the new row, we're going to take away our um, stitch marker. We're going to place one half double crochet into the space where that was. And we're going to reinsert our stitch marker to begin our new row. So now we are going to be doing row six and row six is four half double crochets and then one increase and then four half double crochets and then one increase. So that's going to look like this. So you've already done one. You've already done your first half, half double crochet of the row already. So that's number two. This is number three here that we're doing. And um, then we're going to do number four. And now we're going to do an increase into the next space. So that's one half double crochet and then a second half double crochet in the very same space. And you're just going to repeat this until you get back to the stitch marker and then we will begin row seven. So meet me back here when you are finished. So here's me just finishing off row six. Now we are going to move on to row seven. So again, taking out your stitch marker, putting one half double crochet into the space where that was, and then reinserting the stitch marker and pulling it tight. So for row seven, we are going to be doing five half double crochets and then one increase. So I've already done two, here's three. four and five and now we're going to be putting two half double crochets into this space here for our increase and then that is the pattern for row seven so you're just going to go all the way around and um, until you get to the end which is here and um, here's me just finishing off uh, row seven here with uh, a normal half double crochet so I'm not finishing on anything special just you know, finish the row where you finish the row. So we're going to be taking out that stitch marker, putting a half double crochet in the space where that was, and then reinserting the stitch marker, and then pulling it tight. So for row eight, we are looking at six half double crochets and then one increase. So you've already done one, there's two, this is number three. And so please remember that um, that half double crochet you do um, in the space where the stitch marker in is, that is always, that always counts as the first stitch of the next row. So, you know, say half, six half double crochets, you only have to do like five because you've already done the first one, do you know what I mean? Um, you'll get it if you do it though, you know, you'll understand. 
Um, and the reason why we actually do that um, is because I don't want a seam. It's because I don't enjoy a seam in my hat. <laughs> so this is why we do it. Um, so yeah, sorry, that's row eight. So finish off row eight. Um, do that pattern for the whole way around. And then you'll come back to the stitch marker. And here is the finishing off that row. And then we're just going to take away our stitch marker again. Do one normal half double crochet. And then reinsert our stitch marker. To begin row number nine. And row number nine is going to have seven half double crochets and one increase. So you'll do seven half double crochets. Here's half double crochet number two. Here's number three, four, five, six, and seven. And then we're gonna do an increase, which is two half double crochets into the very same space. And there's my second half double crochet. And so again, do that all the way around until you reach the beginning again, which is where I am here. So again, to start off the next row, take away your stitch marker, do a half double crochet into the next space, and then reinsert your stitch marker. Like so. And so for row number 10, it's going to be eight half double crochets and one increase. And this is our final round. If you're doing the same size as me, this is gonna be your final round for the um, top of the head. So yeah, it's just eight half double crochets, then one increase, eight half double crochets, one increase until you get to the beginning again. And then I will show you how we start on the next part of the hat. Um, and then I'll also actually tell you the um, kind of measurements and stuff. So if we go across the middle of the hat, my kind of head width is a, 6.25 inches um so that's where i kind of decided to stop um with mine but if you have a bigger head i would suggest kind of doing anywhere from 6.5 to 7 inches which could mean um one or two more rounds and um, if you have a smaller head i'd say you'd probably be grand with five and a half or six inches for the head um but it's all up to you like if you wanted to do more rounds, you would just keep going up in numbers. So our last one was eight half double crochets, one increase. You'd be going nine half double crochets, one increase, 10 half double crochets, one increase. And then for smaller, obviously you would just like take away rows and I, you already know all them. So that is how you'd kind of size up the head um, if you wanted to do so. So now we're going to stop increasing and what we're going to be doing for the next row. So I've taken away my stitch marker. This is going to be for the first um stitch of the new row we're going to be going through the middle and um, we're going to be doing a front loop half double crochet here so we're going to yarn over and we're going to insert our hook um into the front loop only through the middle of the v getting the front loop onto our hook and so once that is completed we are going to reinsert our stitch marker because that will signify the beginning of a new row um and so Throughout this whole row, we're going to be placing one front loop only half double crochet into every single stitch. And what this is going to do is it is going to kind of create a downwards, like it's going to make the crochet go like downwards, basically. Like it's going to start off kind of, it's going to change the direction of it, if that makes sense. Um, So it's going to be way easier for it to like go downwards, like as in a hat shape. Um. It's just what I find anyway. I think it's super, it really helps uh, the whole hat along if um, if we can do this. So yeah, in every single stitch, we are going to be placing one front loop only half double crochet until we get to the very end. And then once we uh, get back to the stitch marker, we're gonna yarn over and place one normal half double crochet to begin um, our new row or row 12. So reinserting that stitch marker there and what we're going to do now for rows 12 to 19, we are just going to place one completely normal half double crochet into every single stitch along the row. Um, and yeah, so we're just going to do completely normal rows of half double crochet until we get to row number 19. Um, and in terms of like 
going from row to row you just do the exact same thing as what we were doing before um in terms of like changing where your stitch marker is you do the exact same thing so yeah you're going to do that from rows 12 to 19 and at the end that is what it's going to look like just completely normal half double crochets and it's going to it's going to go down in like a hat form um and that bit there is three inches long for me that's kind of how long I you know I made it I think that's kind of comfortable and so what I did was I turned it inside out because then that gets rid of the front loop only half double crochet like seam that was created so like you can't see it anymore which I love so yeah you can see that so it's all turned inside out now and what we are going to do is going to start on the brim so we're going to have to start off a new row but this time we actually are going to do front loop only uh, half double crochets again so to start off the new row we are going to zoom in first and then we're going to yarn over okay yeah so showing you the front loop so we are going to yarn over and we're going to insert our hook front loop only into the next stitch pull up a loop three loops on your hook there yarn over pull through all three and that is your first front loop only half double crochet. So we're going to reinsert our um, stitch marker there into that stitch so we know where we're going. And so for this row, so for row number 20, we are going to be doing four front loop only single crochets and then we're going to do an increase. So that's one and two. That's our third. And that's our fourth front loop only half double crochet. And now for number five, we're going to do two front loop only half double crochets into the same space. So there's our first and there's our second. And there you go. So that's your first kind of increase of this round. So again, you're going to do one, two, three and four and then on the fifth we are going to do an increase into that space there so increase on the fifth stitch by placing two front loop only half double crochets into the very same stitch and just keep in mind that it is we're keeping with the front loop only kind of trend in this row um but for row 21 we can kind of forget the front loop only bit because you know the direction has been changed so we're all good now so taking out that uh, stitch marker there we're just half double crocheting into um the first stitch of the new row and this one we're getting the two loops onto our hook so we're just doing a normal half double crochet this time to start off the new row and we are reinserting our uh, stitch marker in there So there's one, two, three, four, five, and six, completely normal half double crochets. And then we're gonna increase on the seventh, just like that by placing two half double crochets into the same space. And we're going to go all the way along this row doing the exact same thing six half double crochets one increase um all the way along until we get to the end and here's the end so for row 22 we're doing half or we're doing eight half double crochets and then one increase eight half double crochets one increase so you're just going to go all the way around um the brim of the hat until you reach the stitch marker again and here I am reaching the stitch marker again and then for row 23 we are going to be doing 10 half double crochets and then one increase 10 half double crochets and then one increase and then that unless you want the brim to be like bigger that is your final um increase round of the brim so here's me finishing off row 23 and after row 23 
super easy from here. All that we have to do is do three rounds of completely normal half double crochet. Um, so that's kind of what the hat is going to look like at this point. Um, it's And it's kind of like, it's inevitable you're going to have those like little corner bits on the brim. But doing the three half double crochet rounds kind of gets rid of them. Um, so there I am just completely normal half double crocheting for rows 24 to 26 um and then yeah that's it that is it you finish off with those three rows um and then in terms of tying off at the end you're just going to slip stitch the end of the row to the beginning of the last row and then you're going to chain one and tie it off like that's all you do um to tie it off and then uh yeah so there is the brim the brim is three inches long um so if you want the brim to be like um bigger you can keep doing increase rows and then do your three normal um half double crochet round um anyway i i really like my hat i hope you guys like it too so i'll see you guys in the next video and yeah thank you so much for watching bye <laughs>